in a comment on one of these videos, this dude asked me the question, what is love? And uh, that was the most epic question I've ever seen in my life. I read that and it was just like, oh, wow, true. What is love indeed? And uh, had me stumped just being with that question for a little while and thinking and feeling of the, the levels and the layers to that answer. Because there's a lot of levels to the answer to that question. And um, obviously the, the first answer is like emotion. We experience love in our emotions and stuff. But that's like kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, right? The deeper meaning of the experience of love is connecting with our essence and experiencing our essence. When we feel the emotion of love, we're experiencing our true essence, our true self, the self that we are eternally. In my belief, love is the unified field from which everything comes. It's my understanding that that force that creates life, the energy of creation, is an unconditionally loving force. And it kind of stands to reason that it is an unconditionally loving force. When you look around in nature and the world and humanity and all of life, it's pretty obvious that the stuff that animates all of life, the ground level of being from which everything comes, is an unconditionally loving force if all this stuff exists. You know, if we have wars and if we have abundance and if we have rich people and we have poor people and we have love and we have fear and we have stars and galaxies and crazy things happening out in the cosmos and we have amazing animals on earth and we have amazing everything that's going on. Life is incredible in all levels, good and bad. And so it's pretty obvious that the force that gives rise to all of this stuff just says yes. Its answer is always yes. And giving us, the humans, the power of creation, it obviously says yes to everything we could ever dream up. The inherent force in life doesn't ever say, no, you can't do that, or I'm not going to allow that. It does, however, put limitations and restrictions on the way that its energy is allowed to be used. Example, um, the New World Order and the crazy people on, on the planet who want to control everything, uh, they're only going to be allowed to control so far until it's just not going to be stood for any longer. There's only so far that the fear-based energy is going to be allowed to be expressed until it has to go back to the love. And that's where people living in love come in because we all emulate love, feel compassion for those kinds of people who feel the need to control others and uh, perpetuate madness in the world. And... Um, we love them so much and have so much compassion for them that we heal their state and their uh, need and desire to control others. And we help them realize through our example that control just isn't the way, man. And you cannot control a civilization forever. It just won't stand. We won't have it. We're not, we're not there, dude. We're not going to allow that to go on. And so the power of uniting with that force of love within us is the infinite power of creation. When we're working in harmony with the loving force that animates all things, then we are allowing the power of creation to flow through our intentions, to flow through our bodies, to flow through our emotions, and to flow through our experience. Uh, the audio on that video cut out a second ago, so I'll sum it up right here. Connecting with the force of love allows us to connect with our infinite potential and allow the loving guiding force to lead us to moving past all of our issues and all of our quarrels with one another and weird people trying to manipulate everything and all the madness in the world. So unite with yours, dude. Go find that love.